Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am finally back. I know you were like, where is Lotus Love? Oh, God, you guys, this retrograde, it just kind of had to get my energy right. I just had to really get my energy right. But thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and continued support that you've continued to give to this channel until I tried to get myself together to get back to do these readings. Now, I have been showing up on our Lotus Love Show. So if you join us on the Lotus Love Show every Monday through Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we've had some very interesting conversations over there and readings. Have they been now? My goodness. But... For this reading today, this is your full moon reading in Capricorn, and it will be an uh, uh, no, it will be a lunar eclipse as well. My goodness, what does that mean? That means when the Earth blocks the Sun, okay. And so this is going to be a very powerful eclipse, just like the other ones. We uh, this energy has been absolutely extreme. For the last few months now for this reading this is a mini reading so you'll be able to uh get an idea of how to set your intentions now if you don't know how to set your intentions just look below and there's a link right there on how to set your intentions for this full moon you do not want this energy to pass okay so you want to go ahead now and try to set your intentions on what you're asking the universe for what you're asking spirit for now you can apply this to your sun your moon your rising and for some even your venus signs keep in mind that these energies will flip-flop okay so if it doesn't relate to you it could definitely relate to your partner oh and hello to our cross watchers up there now we are slating this uh reading for the full moon but keep in mind that time is fluid so this situation that you're hearing about today it could have happened three months ago it could happen today it could be happening in the near future don't forget to follow us on instagram at lotus love tarot 555 you guys you gotta subscribe to the channel Hit that little button right there where that you'll see a little bell. And uh, every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. We do have private readings available. And don't forget to join our Patreon. I have some very serious information over there, especially... I kind of give you some inside information on dealing with the energies of what we're dealing with right now in these times. I give you uh, information as far as helping you with your health, um, information that I hear about time periods or that my spirit hones in on time periods that we need to be aware of. So if you haven't joined our Patreon, make sure you hit that link because uh, it definitely will be beneficial for you. All right, my loves, that completes uh, my introduction now. On to your reading. Hello, my Pisces. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. Your reading for the full moon. That's going to be happening on July 5th. Once again, this is a mini reading for you to be able to set your intentions, okay? And if you don't know how to set your intentions, the information pertaining to that can be found below. All right, just look for that link. All right, so let's just get right into it so we can see what energies are coming forth for you as you begin to set your intentions. Holy Spirit, the divine prayer of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces as they begin to set their intentions. On the full moon occurring on July 5th, 2020. All right, let's do that shuffle once more. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? I hope I didn't call you Aquarius. I don't know why I felt like I called you Aquarius. I don't have. If I did, I meant Pisces. If I didn't, it might be because I have Aquarius on my mind from their last reading. Okay. Or y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius. Holy Spirit, the divine prayer of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on July 5th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? Okay. 
Hey, Holy Spirit. Divine creator of the universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on July 5th, 2020. Oh, we got cards falling all over the place. Are these Pisces? Yes. These are yours. Okay, these are two. Actually, they just fell in my lap. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on July 5th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? All right, that, well, let me make sure we don't have any flippers in here. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on July 5th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? This Pisces need to know. There it is. All right. Okay, my Pisces, let's get right into it. Let me move these over here. Make sure everything is set up nice and neat. All right, these are, our first, these are the first messages for you. First message out is playfulness. You guys get this a lot. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This means that you're tense about something. I want y'all to go back and look at some of those Lotus Love shows. Uh, we have a weekend one as well. I believe this card came out for you sometime last week. I think I'm thinking about Pisces. I could be wrong, but I think it's you guys. Anyway, you need to, you're stressed about something uh, you or you need to relax. Okay, so anytime this playfulness card comes out, you're needing to relax or you could be stressed about something. You're, you're, you're a little tense about someone or something. Okay, you're needing to trust a situation. It says, trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. We've been saying a lot about these trust cards. Right now, some, some are not trusting the space that they're in. And sometimes it might feel uncomfortable, but it's happening for your highest good. You just got to always trust and believe that it is. Okay? Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy because you're passionate. So you're very passionate about a space. You're very passionate about a situation that you're in. Or this could mean that you're very passionate about a person. Now, this is not your energy. I could be picking up your um, uh, energy that's surrounding you. But somebody is very passionate, but they're passionate to the point that it's kind of stressing them out a little bit. So they're needing to relax some. Okay? They're really, really needing to relax some. Oh. And I see why. It's time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. So for some of you, this will be a relationship that you're needing to move on from. For some of you, it might be a job. From, from, so for some of you, it could be a relationship, not just romantic. It could be a friendship. It could be a family member. For some of you, it may be time to move on from where you're living right now and you need to move on. So for some of you, it might mean you need to move on from a, uh, having a negative mindset, not handling your finances are right, the ha finances right. You know, you need to let go of the old so the new can come in for you. All right, that's very important. So however that's resonating with you, whatever you're considered old, considering old, whatever you're considering worn out, whatever you con you're considering outdated, whatever you're considering not working for you, okay, whatever you consider. Keep, it's, keep that's keeping you in a low vibration get rid of it get rid of it. your inner guidance is real and trustworthy yeah trust your this is trust again okay you got two messages from two different decks saying the same thing about trust trust yourself okay trust trust that you trust your your inner being trust your intuition on this because you know what's what's good for you on this so you're really needing to to trust yourself okay Energy healing work, yeah, going right back to that internal, that internal space, you know, really do that energy healing work so you're able to really hone in on what spirit is wanting for you, okay? Yeah, you're needing to really hone in on what spirit is, is wanting and desiring for you. That's so important. 
oh my God, emotional healing. I'm telling you, you got the two, now you got two messages from two different decks saying the same thing. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. It's the same thing. My goodness. This says it's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. This says energy healing work. This one says emotional healing. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and new love. It's time to move on. You got to let go. I mean, you got two messages. Trust, trust. Moving on, moving on. Healing, healing. I mean, Pisces, it doesn't get any clearer than that. Look, take action. Oh, my goodness. Take action. Now, listen, if that that doesn't get any more clear, I don't know what else I can even say to, say to this. Spirit is telling you you need to take action in taking care of this. You got multiple messages. You got the same multiple messages, messages from different decks, okay? You got to pay attention to this because Spirit is telling you to take action. So take action, all right? You want to do a private reading? Information pertaining to that can be found below, my loves. Until next time, bye-bye.